So this is the Drudge Report, the Drudge Report. And what they do is they link to all kinds of sites, right? And they're all mainstream media, basically. And the most popular site on the planet, it's all just mainstream gutter crap. If you scroll down, you'll see all the mainstream stuff down there that they link to, everybody, AP, all the other stuff. Well, this site right here does the same thing. It's E&E &E News, no different. They're linked to WTVM on that story right there. And then it's the EPA claimed that no harmful radiation could reach U.S. And it says idiotic, says a nuclear expert. This is the release, and this is modeled from NOAA, the American government. So it's interesting that the EPA says that because this is the government's model that came out in 2014 that they created back then. And it's just showing the cesium, but remember, there's 100 times more strontium and all the iodine and all the uranium, all the plutonium and everything else that is created in the bowels of hell that is Fukushima. In fact, cesium-134 and 137 was found in the U.S. food supply, and that was University of California, Berkeley, on April 8, 2011, folks. The Fukushima forecast, April 7, 2011, large radiation clouds near California. And as you can see here, the NOAA dispersal. Now, I want you to think about it, though, how that filled up your lakes and your rivers, your estuaries, your communities, and your gardens and everything else. And how the government actually hid it all away from you. And that's what we're showing you here tonight. The U.S. government statement about safe radiation actually undermines the confidence. The total, 131 and 137, on April the 7th, 2011, from Fukushima, rivaled Chernobyl. But, I mean, it's much further than that. It's much more than that. You have four melted reactors at Fukushima. One, two, three, and four. So there's one, two, three, and four. Now, there melted cores, they're 100% they're, they're meltdowns. Chernobyl was a 30% meltdown. It was one third the size of any of these reactors. These are 100% meltdowns. But reactor three, and we'll come up to that in a little bit, is a unique, uh, frightening thing in this equation. On April 7, 2011, Korea closed 130 schools. And as you've seen from that dispersal model, and here's another one. These are good models, by the way, folks. And I smurfed that up. Let me keep going, though. You can see, I was supposed to leave that window up there, but I forgot. I closed it, and then it changed the sides on you. Let me keep going. But anyway, California had 10 times more. And this is, a, you can't see the counter. It's a lower quality for the wire cast. I should have uh, got the, the other ones were higher quality. Too late, I'm making the video. It's late at night, 10.34 in British Columbia, Canada. And I need to get something out there a little different while I'm waiting for a new computer and water cache. You can see how it slams into the coastline and the dispersals. This is just from 137. It doesn't include 100 times more this, 100 times more of that. It doesn't include the strontium, which is 100 times more. It doesn't include the uranium, plutonium, all their daughters, all their byproducts, the americium, the neptunium. TV, possibly years before the crisis ends at Fukushima. Well, you got these melted cores. I want you to think about what they've done in Wisconsin, where their decommissioning reactor says it's going to take 40 years. Well, Tokyo says it's going to take them. TEPCO says, it's, which is Japan owns 50% of the shares in Tokyo, TEPCO, Tokyo. And uh, these are melted reactors. These are destroyed reactors. These act reactors, these reactors are monsters on our planet, make no mistake about it. I mean, they detonated. They blew up. And it's, you know, you can't clean that up in 40 years like you can a perfectly healthy plant like. Anyway, Washington Air Monitors on April the 6th, 2011, showed sustained radiation spikes. And then they went out of service. The same city where iodine-131 was found in drinking water. You can't to have it without iodine-132, 10 times more, and you can't have iodine-131 from that accident without 30 times more iodine-133. And wherever you see 131, every fourth one produced uh, from the, after the chain reaction as a byproduct of the rods mixing the fuels together, 
and putting them through the, the ionized radiated chain reaction process, repeating myself, is 129 with a 15 million year half-life. And because of those detonations, that was from unit one, and here's unit one, it's a meltdown, 100% meltdown. It's three times the size as Chernobyl. It's a 100% meltdown, and the fuel pools are melted and missing. UN Committee Chairman studying Fukushima radiation impact. We wouldn't expect to see health effects in child, children, workers, or anyone else, really. I had to explain to 1,000 nuclear workers with 10,000 counts a minute from Machini's May 23rd, 2011. 10,000 counts per minute. 10,000. Let's do the math on that for a second. Because you're getting 10,000 counts per minute. And there's times 1,440 minutes in a day is uh, 14 million counts. Is it? Well, one, two, yeah. 14.4 million counts a day. No big deal. Yeah, no big deal, but I know. Yeah, no, we don't expect to see Hank. Oh, oh, I smurfed up. How do you escape from that? We're messing up everything else. We don't know. Back to the drawing board, Dana. Let me go back a couple. 1,600 Fukushima workers have to be exposed to high radiation from all the carnage at Fukushima. 1,600. Oh, I'm too quick on the draw. It's got a new mic. It's crappy, too. 5,000 5, nuclear plant workers. I guess, you know, was he considering that? We wouldn't expect to see health effects. Now, that was May the 23rd. And this was May the 22nd. Right? This was the day before he came out and said that. The UN's day, there was 5,000 people. That was in the major media, right? 5,000 nuclear plants. So their job wasn't to come out and tell the truth. The, here, a hospital, you know, was owned by TEPCO. 40% of the Fukushima visitors shows internal exposure to radiation. How could you avoid it? How could you avoid it, you know? Four of 11 radiation monitors were offline. We're offline when this was going on, right? Hang on, I grab that and drag it down. Let me get rid of this one. So four of eleven radiation monitors were offline. Oh yeah, that's a bad quality one. Sorry, folks. Not much you can do. Here we go. Let me keep going. Strawberry mushrooms with cesium 137 found in Northern California. Five or six items in food chain samplings. April 8, 2011. It's okay. It's in the spinach. Strawberries. Topsoil. Mushrooms. It's all fine. Go back to sleep. Shut up. 50 beckles. Now what you see falling out there, it, when you know, it gets rained out in your community, 50 beckles in a kilogram in... Humans leads to irreversible lesions in their vital organs. To keep raising the levels you're allowed to have. And let me keep going. One or times more strontium. That's Ken Buesler. Strontium 90, he's talking about. Ken Bu Buesler said, 100 times more strontium than cesium, but he only looks for cesium. Right? Buesler only looks for cesium. And you'll hear him talking about it. I'm not going to go down that path tonight, but I put videos up of them doing that. 150,000 square kilometers Pacific with Fukushima nuclear material. It's a remarkable amount released into the ocean. 150,000 square kilometers. April the 12th, 2013. Uh, my numbers are at 2 kilometers an hour, uh, 2 miles an hour. It's 50 square kilometers a day. That's the studies uh, from Japan themselves. They found 1,500 miles offshore in the first 30 days, which adds up to corrosion current. It travels up to 5.7 miles per hour, uh, 9 kilometers an hour, but at least 2 miles an hour. So 130 days, it went right across the ocean. Every day behind it, it was hemorrhaging into the ocean and never stopped. But it worked out uh, 50 kilometers a day was, for almost 1,200 days, was 1 1.8 million square miles. I'm not going to nitpick right now, but March 16, 2011, wind from Fukushima will shift towards Tokyo tomorrow. And we all seen, we all seen the dispersals. You see the dispersals. Yeah, it's going to shift towards Tokyo and North America and Canada and Australia and New Mexico and places we don't even know exist are going to be buried in it. 
ABC calls radiation plume over Europe massive but harmless. That's massive, and I can assure you it's not harmless. The tiniest particle, one ten thousandth of a millionth of a meter, is like getting an x ray 1440 minutes a day, every day, for the rest of your life. See, that's how that works, right? That's why I keep doing what I'm doing. Radioactive iodine in Pennsylvania rainwater sample 3300%. Above federal drinking water standard. Well, drinking water standard, they, they just include a CC-137. Gee, I wonder why. That model only includes CC-137 to the right-hand side. Don't forget there's 100 times more strontium. Ask Ken Buesler. He'll tell you. It's in his lectures. Now, he slips it in, but you got to pay attention. But Forbes, iodine, at 3,300%, right? High potential for danger. Barrels of nuclear waste found by journalists. 60 trillion becquels of radioactivity dumped in each barrel. Think about that. Just think about that dumped into the ocean. Let me get back to pictures. Now, I just want you to realize how deadly this stuff and what they have been doing for many years. Uh, the old nuclear waste found in the English Channel. Remember, Sellafield's got 8 million liters a day going into the ocean too. Hanford got millions of uh, liters, uh, billions, 450 billion liters dumped into its soil. 45,000, 45 gallon barrels off the coastline of California. 58 trillion becquels, some of the becquels held, uh, some of the barrels held 2.4 trillion disintegrations per second till the end of time. See, these people that threw it there, they should be in jail till the end of time. Remember uh, March the 1st, 2014, horrible medical mysteries, a rate of birth defects in Washington, babies missing parts of skulls and brains? Well, the new one coming out there was eight. It's usually only one a year, but eight down by Hanford, where there's 450 billion gallons dumped directly into the soil. There's 41 miles of open pit at Hanford. That's Fukushima to the right. CC-137 hotspots detected in Seoul and South Korea emitting 1,000% normal background radi radiation. 1,200, so 1,000 times 7,500 becquels of potassium-40, but they're going to equate potassium-40, which is homeostasis. A banana is potassium-40, potato chips, potassium-40, your clothing potassium 40 you can swim potassium 40 you're not going to get cancer you do every day it can't hurt you it's natural everything on the planet is acclimated to it it's got one ten thousandth of a second of a lifespan it couldn't mutate a fruit fly but they're going to equate it see with those numbers and say it's normal background radiation in the same sentence okay zoe it's okay june the 30 meeting revealed depleted uranium storage facility burned after a quake 1,800 pounds of uh, depleted uranium in the Chiba Prefecture, June the 9th, 2011. And the chairman of the Oregon Republican Party suggests dropping nuclear waste from airplanes for its health benefits. See, that's how demented and twisted a maniacal system really is. And I might have to go outdoors and check on my puppy here. So we'll call it a night. Elevated radiation in Germany, Switzerland, Sweden, rather, Slovakia, in Hungary, Austria, Republic, uh, Czech Republic, rather, Hungary, 10 days after uh, talk of Fukushima, November 11th. Think about Poland and Denmark also had it. And that's because, as you can see, the radioactive fallout, according to the Americans, was just in the first couple of days. It never stopped till November. It was a massive amount. That washes back down through your communities, your rivers, lakes, estuaries, and everything else. I don't need to keep going down that road, but you get the picture. This is a sarcophagus they're putting around it. You won't see people with cutting torches. You won't see people with scaffolding. Yeah, my puppy's back there. Um, and they lift these panels up, and they just slip them down into place, see? And so that's how they're getting away with doing what they're doing. And they're going to cover it up and say, look, it looks fine, right? And people take pictures of it. But this is so you can walk past it so the homeless can shuffle past it as they live out their last dying days from the contamination everywhere else. At the height of the Fukushima emergency regions of California where the plume hit had no monitors. No, they took them all down. That was uh, January 25, 2014. The EPA shut down the Fukushima radiation monitoring uh, after finding high levels of radiation in the drinking water. That's a twist at the air, and I'll cover that a little bit here. EPA will no longer conduct radiation monitoring related to Fukushima. And you've got uh, the detonations here, blue pieces of it all over the site. 
Just hang on a second, folks. Sorry, folks. Just want to double check on the puppy. Uh, let me keep going here. Radnet monitors were shipped out. Don't expect any updates. June the 23rd, you paid these people. You empowered them. You gave them a pension. You gave them all the equipment, the trucks, the airplanes. You gave them the most the technology. You spent a fortune to get them to go out and check. What did they do when you have an event? They walk away. That's shocking. Japan unveils plan to develop massive government backup city. Mail online, 300 miles west of Tokyo. Uh, 200,000 staff, 50,000 residents. 1,400% baseline radiation levels, San Francisco coastline. You've got to think about the dispersal and how, you know, I'm just using the American's NOAA one right now but because it's such a nice little one and it tells so much. You can see how this disperses out in 40 days, right? And so that washes back down into your community. It washes down to your coastline, right? With rain, see? That's why I keep showing you that because that's what happens. And maybe if I leave that, like that, next time I click on something, I won't have to play with it. Officials of Air and Radiation in charge of trouble. Radnick is picked by Obama for the EPA. The guy who hit it all, right? The guy who, who hit all of that stuff and hit this particular NOAA chart on top of that, because that just came out in 2014. But this was NOAA's chart. They, this was the simulation of just Unit 1, not counting Unit 2, not counting Unit 3. Not counting Unit 4 dispersal, not counting the 14 reactors, not counting the big blow up, the melted cores, and the hemorrhage out of the core, out of those buildings, those four buildings, uh, non stop hardcore into the environment, not only the environment, but the ocean, but into the environment for seven months, hardcore. Massive releases. Now that's Unit 2, that's. Uh, Intact, but the fuel pool is melted down, the reactor is missing, the bottom of it broke off, the reactor snapped off, and the core is missing for 3,450 assemblies, 280,000 rods. Each rod, each rod is 18 pounds, each rod is 600 times more radioactive atoms than all the grains of sands and all the beaches on the planet. If you were to liberate all the grains of sands and all the beaches on the planet, you probably couldn't see each other. Imagine multiplying that by 280,600. Because each rod is 600 times all the grains of sands. And all. A gram is, is more radioactive atoms. Uranium-238 is more radioactive atoms all the grains of sands and all the beaches on the planet. Obama picks to lead and a single one of those particles is an emitter and will give you cancer. They're ionized or radiated. Obama picked the lead. It was the guy who covered it all up, right? To keep doing his job. Because he's got White House power, so he's even, he's empowered now. Right? Radiation limits too high. Japan allows 20 times more cesium in the drinking water. EPA in North America hasn't told you, but they've increased the levels to 7,400 becquerels a cubic meter. But like Buesler was telling you, there's 100 times more strontium. Japanese government, but they never look for it. He don't look for it. He only looks for cesium. And he says, see, I only find a couple of becquerels of cesium, so don't worry about it because you allow 7,400 becquerels a cesium in your drinking water. And then according to that, if you got a couple of hundred becquerels, 7,400 becquerels in a cubic meter of drinking water, you have to multiply it by 100 to get how much of strontium-90 is there. I messed that up, did I? Let me do that again. Just to double check. So 70, oops, we'll go 75, what adds? Times 100, that's right. What am I thinking? 750,000 becquerels of strontium-90 in your drinking water. Get used to it. They're not going to tell you about it. You need to fight back. You need to push back. We need to develop technology to deal with what's really going on, and they're denying it. What you're looking at is Unit 3 on the right-hand side. Do you see the fuel pools there? Does that look okay? Could you hang a shower curtain out and let your kids go play there or something? No. According to the NRC, at the Senate hearing a few weeks ago, you could. That the building was intact, I covered it. That the building, the structure was fine. There was no issues with the fuel pool. That doesn't even exist. The core is uh, was shoved out of there, detonated. It was felt 25 miles away. That is MOX fuel. It's from missiles that were in silos for decades. It's millions, of, two million times worse, according to all the media, the mainstream media, than all 
any other reactor on the planet, two million times worse. So Chernobyl, one third the size, 30% meltdown, that means that reactor alone is 18 million times. There was an unprecedented phenomenon from using salt water in the Fukushima reactors. A bunch of the Japanese Navy SEALs were killed when that detonated. They were pouring salt water on it because all the, the 500 miles of coastline was washed away, see? And they were just trying to deal with some another tragedy, you know? There were 20,000 people swept away. It was They didn't even know if their families were okay. They were working on just trying to salvage it. The heroics are unimaginable. And today it's the homeless that are there doing all the work and they're running out of the homeless. But this uranium peroxide buckyball compound, urethal, what happens is when you spray salt water, this is a phenomenon they known about from the testing in the ocean, was it created these, these like soccer balls where you're able to ingest a radioactive particle and the elements into it. I'm still going. Experts calling for wider Japanese evacuation. Officials would have to evacuate 1,800 square kilometers using Chernobyl standards, but it's actually, they say 8,000 square kilometers. That was a Symposium University of Chicago, but it was also covered by a, a Japanese media that 30,000 becquels a square meter for 8,000 square kilometers. In Japan, another one in uh, February 5th, 2014, 14,000 square kilometers of land is contaminated. When they say cesium, remember, it's 100 times strontium, okay? 20,000 square miles of Japan potentially contaminated. you got to realize that this is just Unit 3 you're looking at right there. Not that's Unit 4 over there. That was destroyed. It was utterly destroyed. And 43 million people, 20,000 square kilometers. Coal doesn't do that to you, okay? You can never use that. You're just liberating it. Every time you have a forest fire, everything else, the entire country is rotten. 30,000 square kilometers, 10,000 beckles of... It's okay, Zoe. Settle down. 8% of the nation. It's actually worse than that. 60,000 is a good estimate. It's the whole country. I've covered it many times. Um, oh, I'm banging through that. 100 tons of uranium in three reactors is more than that there, folks. A lot more than that there. Each reactor was 3,450 assemblies. Um, the rods are 80 rods in assembly, around 18 pounds a rod. A massive cover-up. That's not counting the fuel pool, not counting the storage facilities, the dry cast all around it. They had detonations at the DU. Remember, we covered that. A massive cover-up. Texas directed staff to change the test results. May the 20th. Is exceeded the EPA. Remember, the EPA keeps raising the limit. Remember, the EPA grandfathered in 65,000 chemicals in 1981 when they hung their shingle outside their door. 65,000 chemicals. That's why you allowed 4,000 chemicals in your cigarette because you never done no environmental human impact studies. It's not right. It's not ethical, but they do it. Meltdowns, melt through. Mysterious cloud of... Dangerous iodine 131 over Europe is absolutely cause for concern. It certainly deserves more than 129 words. This was Gizmodo. I mean, November 15, 2011. At least they mentioned that. But uh, there was 10 times iodine 132. There was 30 times iodine 133. For every 131 made, there's uh, iodine. For every three iodine 131s made, there's an iodine 129. That's got a 50 million year half life. Not that we'll ever see the end of that. But, I mean, a mysterious cloud. A mysterious cloud. Yeah, because they hid this one until 2014, this model. But, yeah, that's a serious cloud, you know. And that never stopped for seven months coming at her. This is a 40-day dispersal model over there. But News blackout over mysterious barrels in Lake Superior. Uh, what was it? 1,400 barrels dumped into the lake. See, they're demented, demented, sick. Nuclear expert says, I'm horrified. The feds abandoned Fukushima radiation monitoring. Yeah, because it's just endlessly coming at them, right? That was national security. Obama uh, made them stop talking about it. So April 4, 2011, fallout will engulf Taiwan <laughs> and everywhere else. New York Times contributors confirm California rainwater 180, 181 times above drinking water. So 7,500 times 181 let's keep going here so 1.3 uh, million of iodine 131 there would have been 10 times that so 10 million becquels there would have been 30 of 132 
and 30 times that, there would have been, you see, and and so they don't travel alone without uranium, plutonium, strontium, and, and everything else, right? And there's around 2,000 that we're worried about, but a couple of hundred that are really scary. Let's keep going for a few more. This is extremely serious. We were unable to control the radioactive water. It's not seeping out of there. It's flooding out of there, okay? 400 tons a day is nothing. They're pouring 600 tons a day with pumps. They're, they're collecting 300, ton, 300 tons of that and pumping it into the tanks, in the tank farms, and another 300 tons is escaping. But there's 1,000 tons to 4,000 tons a day washing from the mountain underneath that facility and where all the rods had detonated and blown all over that, that facility. Let me get rid of that one again. It's a low quality. I should have used higher quality. I'm sorry. Look, that's unit three. What's left of it is missing. And, and the core was ejected from that. That's unit four. It's destroyed. It's utterly destroyed, okay? They're melted down. They detonated. They blew the rods all over the place. And the water washes underneath it. They're spraying water everywhere perpetually till the end of the time. And they didn't even admit it for the first two years. Uh, and they admitted it August 11, 2013. That was out there. Japan government, the melted reactor cores are contaminating the Pacific with a full range of radioactive material. Yeah. There's 260 uh, natural radiation and around 3,100 radiation isotopes on the planet all together. The rest are man-made. They don't exist anywhere else in our solar system. You have to pour water, perpetually pouring water on it. And the discharges goes directly into the Pacific. They got no choice where they're going to put it. It's a show and tell down there as it is. They're using the homeless. We don't even know where the tree melted cores are. Uh, Associate Press. And they usually have a whole list of different media underneath each one of these stories. They're much better than Drudge Any Day of the Week, where they got just all kinds of... Uh, as you keep going down the page, you'll find all the other headlines that talked about it. Japan Times. Discharge of Fukushima nuclear material in the Pacific have effectively contaminated the sea. Because they're melted down, melted through, melt outs, gone down into the earth, probably a half a mile or more. Look at the carnage. They detonated. Look at this. This is the MOX fuel. That, the, the NRC was at the Senate, and they said that that building was intact, that the integrity was intact, that there was no issues with the structure. You tell me. TEPCO made Fukushima plant into a machine for generating radioactive water and into our environment. What else do you need to know, you know? That should, like the media needs to talk about this. We need to have a debate about this. Every time you hear numbers, you gotta think about all the other numbers that goes with this, like the strontiums and the iodine that originally came through, it irradiated every rabbit, every dog, every cat, every hamster, and every child on the way to school. And we got studies of the EPA or the Health Canada flying along the coastline knowing that. Invisible snowstorms, inundating the coastline, uh, sustained on March the 19th, March the 20th for 18 hours in planes along our coastline, and they never even told the people to, to shelter in the place. Remember the Tetra River, they evacuated 7,500 communities in the 40s. There's 9,000 square miles permanently evacuated because they used their moral and ethical reasoning to do that. That's how dangerous this stuff is. Japan is ran to the ground. We're finished. North America is done. If we don't try to deal with it, if we don't try to come up with solutions for our water and for our food, and we won't because nobody will raise the alarm. Nobody will raise their voice. Everybody is being paid to say the opposite. That it's like, and I covered many times on this site, it's like bananas. It's like potato chips. It's like walking in the sunshine when it's absolutely positively never was, never will be, couldn't be. It has nothing to do with equals MC square. You don't put potato chips in a nuclear reactor before you push the, the button to start it up. You don't put bananas in the reactor. They won't mutate fruit, fruit flies. We can't keep raising the levels. There is no safe levels. It's, it's uh, utter fabrication because there's nothing on the planet that has ever any experience with these elements. You put them in contact with anything alive on the planet and it'll, it'll destroy the DNA, it'll destroy your chromosomes, 
it gives you the autoimmune deficiencies, it tries to create a tumor around it in your body. That's the only sarcophagus on the planet that can deal with it. I'm not fear-mongering. I'm telling you the fact because that's the only way something will happen. Take care, folks. We'll see you tomorrow, hopefully.